Hello Year 4, this week in maths we're going to be looking at pictograms. I know that you've been really enjoying bar graphs, bar graphs and other statistic learning, so this should just continue with that. So, let's read through the first part. It says, pictograms are charts that use pictures. They are another good way to present information so that you don't have to look at lots of numbers. So this is a really good example. We've got three mice, Melvin, Pip and Dibble. And they want to find out who has been eating the most cheese. So they draw a pictogram. So they've got their names down the side here. And then this is how much cheese each of them eat. Now, just at a quick glance, I can tell really easily that Melvin eats the most cheese. Now, what I need to be careful of is the graphs usually show me how many pieces of cheese each picture represents because that piece doesn't always necessarily represent one piece it could be two it could be three it could be four it could be five it could be ten so the key will always show you so in this instance that um, one picture equals two pieces of cheese so from the pictogram the mice can see that Melvin ate 12 pieces Pip ate six and Dibble ate seven now I'm a little bit confused because if one picture is two pieces of cheese, how have they shown that extra one? Oh, look, they've cut the picture in half. So when I see that a picture of a piece of cheese has been cut in half, I know that that is one and not the whole, which is two. And they've said down here, each picture represents two pieces of cheese. So half a picture represents two divided by two equals one. So it's, they've halved it. Remember, when we divide a number by two, we're halving it. Okay, so let's look at set A, and that's just the set that you're going to be doing today. You're not going to be doing the other page. Um, in the first questions, you've got um, football footballs. And again, one football is equal to two players. But then when you come down here to questions five, six, and seven, they all link to the pictogram with the houses. Now, these houses don't represent two each, they represent four, okay? So make sure that equals four, that equals four, four, four. Now, when we get down here, you've got to be really careful because the house has been divided in half, it's been divided by two, but it isn't going to represent one this time, it's going to represent a different number because the whole house is a different number. So just be careful with that one. And then for the last five questions down here, you've got the tractors. And this time, one symbol, one picture is equal to eight tractors. So let's have a look at question eight. The pictogram on the right shows how many tractors drove past Oliver's farm during the week. So on which day did Oliver not see any tractors? So that's a nice easy one. I know that is Wednesday. Make sure you copy the spelling of Wednesday very carefully. On which day did Oliver see 16 tractors? So if I count in my eights, I know that, that is eight, 16, it's more than 16, so it can't be that one. Eight, 16. So on Tuesday, he saw 16 tractors. I hope that helps today. I'll be popping up the answers tomorrow. Let us know if you have any questions.